welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us here. So I've just completed my 500 miles on the brand new gear set in the brand new Dana 60 rear end. You saw us put that in a couple videos ago. Um, so I'm ready to change out the fluid, do a quick inspection of the gears, make sure nothing's wrong. And I can put fresh fluid in it with a fresh gasket and then we're ready to go racing. And that will be the next video is us back at the track testing out this new rear end. We went from a 410 to a 430 gear. Um, and I have heard that Dana's are better than the eight and three quarters on the 60 foot times, possibly just because of less deflection in the rear end itself. Um, maybe the bit of the weight over the rear end, but we're gonna test that out too. So stoked for that. In this video though, I'm gonna crack this guy open. We'll check the fluids, take a look at the gears, take a look at the spool. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about uh, something guys talk about all the time on the internet is if you can run a spool on the street. So let's crack into this rear end, drain that fluid and check out these gears. One nice feature on these Danas too, they do have a drain right underneath. Very convenient to uh, swap fluid out. Try not to make a mess here. Okay, they did say it'd be um, probably a lot darker than when it went in and it, and it is showing that. That's just the new gears wearing in a little. Drain plug's also magnetized, which is nice. Okay, so let's get into it. The big discussion, can you run a spool on the street? What's it like running a spool on the street? Now, if you jump on the internet, you'll see all kinds of stuff both ways. Guys will say they ran it for 20 years, no problem. Guys will say back in 1980, they did it and it ruined their life. This is just my experience running a spool uh, on the street and what it's been like for me. So. so I've been running this now for 500 miles. So I think I'm a bit of an expert. I've pretty much been daily driving the car um, and uh, I haven't had any sort of issues at all. The one thing that I have noticed, um, slow speed corners, like backing into things or pulling out of an area where you gotta turn a sharp corner, you can feel the rear end pushing a little bit. Um, it's just scrubbing off the tire, but I don't get any sort of barks going around corners that guys always seem to say that you get. Um, and I think that might come down to what kind of tires you have on the back of the car. If you have a harder compound that's like a really chirpy tire, then you're probably going to get that. I run a pretty soft street tire. Those uh, N50s are pretty soft, so they just kind of scrub off and uh, I don't get any sound out of it whatsoever. Um, other than the slow speed corners, like uh, backing into stuff or pulling out of an area, you don't even notice that it's in there. It's literally no problem at all. So anybody tells you you can't run a spool on the street, nah, it's totally fine. So I kind of put spool on the street up there with things that guys say that you can't do, but you can do. Obviously you wouldn't want to, you know, daily drive this thing, but it's right up there with like running a solid roller cam on a street car, a high stall converter, 4,500 stall. It's very, very doable. You wouldn't want to daily driver it, but it's a race car that goes on the street, so. It is what it is. I like it. It's gonna be awesome at the track. So that's it for me. Okay, now we got that covered. Uh, let's get back to getting this cover off. So the oil changes just because of the coating that's on the gears. Uh, a little bit of paint too from where they check the mesh, but no chunks. Okay, looks like you're just about done draining. Let's go ahead and pop that cover off. Quick tip for everybody. Don't drop your wrench in the oil. Uh, Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, that's nasty. That's great. Ah. Okay, so I kind of cut around the bottom of the gasket. Let's pry open and uh, take a look. And here we can see the spool and gears and everything. So we're just looking at that brand new ring gear. Um, just looking for cracked, chipped teeth. Um, I don't see anything, of course. This stuff's pretty bulletproof, but you know, and I did do a really good break-in session on it. Got those 500 miles in. Uh, slow driving, short drives for 250 miles, and didn't even touch the highway till over 300 miles. So 
gave it a real good break in. Everything looks good. So all I gotta do is just clean it out real well and then uh, slap on a new gasket and fill it with oil. Yeah, it looks really good in there. Uh, and again, a little bit of discoloration you see in the oil is just a coating that comes on all those brand new gears. That's just reflection too, by the way. If you think that's something, it's just the gears reflection in there. Pretty cool. Man, can't wait to hang this thing out on the drag strip. Okay, so there she is, thoroughly cleaned out. Got that gasket surface prepped, ready to go. Got this guy cleaned up, gasket there, bolts there. Gonna goop that guy, goop that guy, put that on with those there. Okay, so got that guy all bolted up now. It's just uh, snugged in there. I'm gonna let it set up for 20 minutes and then I could put a fold tighten on it, let it sit for 24 hours and then she's getting wet. And she's fully torqued down now. Uh, I cut the bottom of that Felpro gasket. Didn't really fit that great. Um, it's the only gasket Felpro makes for a Dana, but uh, I guess they left it overhang a little. So just trimmed up. Looking good now, get it wet tomorrow. Okay, nothing left to do but uh, fill her with fluid. She'll be getting two and a half quarts of uh, 85-140. Normally it's two quarts, but because of the spool, extra half quart. And then we're hitting the drag strip, so do stay tuned for that. That will be the next video. Really stoked to get this thing out on the track, see if we get better 60 foot times. Should hook up harder, full spool now, better gear. Uh, really stoked for that. Stay tuned, we'll see you guys soon. One last thing I'll show you guys, this here. Not very efficient way to fill. So I got a little tube action on that guy. Basically fill it over top of the diff. Gotta make it work. See you guys on the next one.